All right, how's it going out there, folks? Good uh, afternoon out there. It is the Earth Master, about 12.32 p.m. California time here, day after Christmas, 12.26-2024 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows, uh, looks like a little small microquake across the California area. As far as uh, overnight movement here, in terms of newer activity, let's take a look here at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity. Uh, showing the largest earthquake, a 5.2 around the Philippines, just about 2 o'clock this morning here. And uh, that uh, striking 36 miles deep here into the uh, Philippine Trench. Going to be that blue circle there, the uh, latest and uh, largest earthquake so far in the last 24 hours. Some newer activity striking up here around the Sumatra area. That is a uh, 4.6 Six miles deep there into the uh, Java Trench. Again, just off the coast there of Sumatra. As far as anything going on here across the West Coast, let's go ahead and take a look as we zoom in there across Northern California. Things pretty quiet. Aside from one earthquake this morning, a 2.5 in the Petrolia area. A live look at the uh, seismograph stations out there confirms uh, pretty quiet conditions prevailing on the seismos for now. Typical clustering going on there around the geothermal field out around the Clear Lake Volcanic Field there. That's just a bunch of power operators, power operations out there uh, utilizing the heated area below to create energy. And at the same time, they uh, induce these earthquakes all over the place. Uh, some movement around the Bay Area, really nothing big. 2.2 uh, just off the uh, Green Valley Fault. Aside from that, San Francisco pretty quiet. Extreme Southern California down here. Nothing major going on. Got one earthquake in the last hour. A little 1.7. Aside from that, uh, a handful of earthquakes here on the Imperial Fault. Uh, looks like there was a little bit of stir up here about 2, 3 in the morning. All within a few minutes of each other. Uh, a bunch of little ones stirring up here. But nothing since in terms of anything elevated. In fact, uh... 2.5 map out here only shows uh, one earthquake above that level around the San Andreas Fault, the creeping segment. So um, just kind of quiet out here for now. The uh, Yellowstone National Park super volcano, nothing showing up there on the graph. Let me give a quick glance here real quick. Just something I want to do. Got to get in the habit of double checking it, making sure we're not overlooking anything. Uh, there was a handful of earthquakes here. Let's see. That looks like earthquake activity around the Parker Peak region. Um, and that almost looks like earthquake activity there as well. Something stirred up here overnight, it looks like. Let's see here. Hard to say if that was any type of wind event or what blew through there about midnight last night. I want to double check that and see. Uh, we'll check out the weather map here. I mean, of course, wind, wind up there is pretty strong if you look at the uh, wind graphs, the uh, wind gusts right now. But at about, you know, 1 o'clock, 12 in the morning or, or 12 o'clock in the morning. Let's see here. Looks like that was about the same there. Some wind. 12 hours ago, 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, hard to say. Some of that may have been some wind up there. Some may be uh, some earthquake activity. But the the reading I'm looking at is right about here. All those uh, little uh, red lines are indicating some type of earthquake activity. Showing up here around Maple Creek as well. Upper Falls picking up on that movement. Um, nothing showing up here on the USGS map. Double check that. At 1.3 from yesterday, but they're missing a handful of earthquakes there from yesterday as well. That was uh, pretty much verified there on the graph. Nothing coming in since the 22nd. So, you know, they're not big earthquakes, but there is some earthquake activity stirring up there around uh, Yellowstone area. Similar to what we're seeing today and then yesterday's events there. I'll show you guys a couple uh, spikes there on the graph. Little West Thumb right there. 
blow that up a little bit. Had three distinct earthquakes that showed up on Mary Lake, Purple Mountain, Lake Butte, the Promontory, Mount Sheridan, a couple other stations out there, even uh, Moose Creek, Idaho. So that's legit earthquake activity, probably below the two range, but again, nothing. Zip zero. Uh, let's see, Texas area. Uh, let's see a little bit of earthquake activity today in the morning time, it looks like. Out around Pecos, Texas. Aside from that, uh, pretty quiet out there across the uh, rest of the country. Severe weather ramping up, though. We'll check that out here in just a minute. Uh, let's take a look at the Earthquake 3D Globe, see if we got anything of uh, any interest out here today, anywhere. I mean, if I had to choose a region here for elevated activity... Man, this is kind of a hard one today. A little quiet out here. Turkey region seeing a little bit of swarming going on there, it looks like, including a four-pointer. Uh, typical clustering out here, but I guess that's going to take the show today in terms of elevated seismic activity around the uh, Taiwan area southward into the Philippines. Java Trench area seeing a little bit of swarming going on around that area. Looks like a, a recent 4.6 there. And um, a 4.5 prior to that, so two minutes within the two minutes apart here, we got two four pointers. So it's kind of significant. We we'll continue to keep an eye there on that region. It is, uh, oh, I, I think today's the anniversary of that big quake. Was it 2006? I think had that big giant. Uh, uh, I think it was a nine pointer, right? Off the coast of Sumatra, if I remember right. But uh, a little bit of earthquake activity stirring up in that region today. Kind of curious here. Let me double check. I want to see when that last big one was. I think it was 2006. You know, there's a, there's a lot of uh, earthquake activity out here recently. I'm going to draw a little section here across the... Uh, Sumatra area. I just want to cover this and see. See if I'm right. 2006. Oh, 2004. Okay, I was a little off. For some reason, 2006 was ringing uh, my bell for some reason. But, uh, yeah, that was a big earthquake. The uh, Technically, that was yesterday on, uh, on Christmas Day. 2004 Sumatra 9.1. That was a big one. So that activity today is stirring up uh, right around here. Those couple fours that that uh, came in back to back. Well, that was a big earthquake. All right. Moving on here. And tsunami. No doubt that was a pretty significant tsunami. Uh, a little bit of smaller microquake activity up here in the Alaska area. But really nothing all that big today, folks. It's just kind of a... A wait and see type of day. Let's go ahead and check out space weather. A little bit quieter out here today as well. A couple of inflares there last night, stirring up there on the sun. Today, well, looks like some sea flare activity in the last hour or so. Currently flaring at C3.7 is the current X ray flux um, reading there. Nothing major going on for the auroras for now. And far as the forecast goes, well, that kind of uh, went bye bye. That CME that was supposed to hit us last night completely missed us. So we'll have to wait, see if anything else comes up here in the forecast. We do have a number of active regions out here, and any any of these uh, could blast off some stronger flaring. We'll have to keep an eye on them. Obviously, they are uh, the majority of them are facing the Earth squarely and directly, and uh, anything that blasts off here should be uh, Earth-directed, geo-effective in terms of uh, any subsequent CME activity. All right, let's check out weather out the uh, weather outlook here today. They've enhanced an area down here across southeastern Texas. A little area here uh, is uh, in a very dynamic zone set up here for some tornado activity. That includes Houston, Pasadena, uh, the Woodlands area, Baytown. Heads up, that includes a 10% chance here of a hatched area of tornado potential. That's uh, one of the stronger ones. Something you normally see in the springtime. Uh, so that tells us right there that uh, that region, if you're in these areas today, 
you got a 10% or greater probability of seeing some big tornadoes up to an EF5 within 25 miles of a point. So heads up. Of course, you can see tornado activity anywhere around this region. That's just the greatest area of concern with all the dynamics and the mixing of the weather ingredients. Got some wind and some hail threats out there as well today. Uh, current look at the radar. Let's go to the most recent uh, reading here. That was about nine minutes ago. Let's see, we got a little bit of rain coming out here across Northern California. Uh, there's all that... Uh, Severe weather ramping up right now. Looks like it's just getting going here. May have been going a little bit, but uh, it's in that area of uh, environment right now where things are going to start to get interesting uh, for uh, tornado activity. So just stay on guard. Look at the tracks out there. That's crazy. That's an insane amount of lightning. Unbelievable. I can only imagine the consistent rumble out here. I I'm a big time thunderstorm fan, so uh, I love me some good thunderstorms. And and Texas, goodness, they know how to get it done. So keep an eye on that today. Um, we'll put this into motion. Uh, the weather model out here. There's that storm system stirring up the severe weather in Texas today, dropping a lot of rainfall as well. California, some more rain and snow across the area tonight. Another weak system behind that, and uh, looks like another one as we head into early next week across the West Coast. Got to watch uh, for some colder weather coming up here as we enter into 2025. That could spell some trouble for some severe weather threats. We'll have to watch that. But uh, the patterns definitely change here around January, first week of January. A lot of colder air coming in. Not a whole lot of moisture, but... Uh, That'd be nice. Hopefully that rings true for California. Uh, you know, we're getting into the middle of winter, right? I know uh, we're past the winter solstice there, heading back into longer days, but the uh, environments out here are still highly dynamic. You can see some, uh, some pretty strong systems out here, so we'll watch that as we head into uh, January. I'm just not quite ready for summertime yet. I, I want to stretch out the wintertime as, as long as I can because around here, my neck of the woods... Here in the Sacramento Valley, up around Chico, Redding, we get up to 117, 118 degrees easily in the summertime. That is not okay. <laughs> That's not okay. And why don't I move? That's easier said than done. All right, folks, have yourself a good uh, Thursday out there. Like I say, things just kind of eerily quiet. A couple of earthquakes coming into the seismos right now. One little spike on Yellowstone, a little one there on China Lake and Petrolia. Uh, Northern California right here. Uh, so we'll just kind of keep an eye on things, see how the uh, the day plays out. We'll see you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening for the uh, Thursday evening update, unless something major happens. Take care and stay safe, folks. Enjoy your day.